If wala pa kayong ipon, huwag na mo na magpakasal. Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we are going to discuss everything about how much to get married here in the Philippines. So, as some of you know, I got married just last May 2019. And today, I will share ko sa inyo ang breakdown ng expenses namin. So at least in future, you have a guide kung how much are you willing to spend on your wedding day. So, I can say this is just the average. Average expense lang to. Kasi, I only have 140 visitors. Included na dun ang around 25 staff. But mostly, yung makikita natin ngayon sa social media, na it's like a complete wedding talaga. They usually get 200 to 300 guests. So, my guests are very little lang compared sa kanila. So, if you want to know how much did we spend and what are the expenses included in a wedding, just keep watching. So, first on your list must be the prenup session. But this is not required. Depende lang sa inyo if gusto nyo mag prenup or hindi. So, for us, we opted to get one. But what is included in a prenup session? First, you have to pay for the photographer. Unlimited shots na yan usually. And for us, we all, we paid 10,000 pesos. And then, you also have to pay for the venue. Depende kung saan mo gusto. That is 2,000 pesos. And then, you also have to pay for the hair and makeup, which is 2,000. Again, these are just average prices. You can opt to choose suppliers na mas lower pa ang ang fees nila or you can kung gusto mo super bongga talaga you can choose higher suppliers then the second one on your list should be the wedding coordination you know it's nice talaga na kumuha ka ng isang wedding coordinator para less stress sa yo as a bride kasi sila na yung tutulong sa inyo from day one since from the planning stage up to the wedding day so when I contacted a wedding coordinator uh, the first package I got was 89,000 pesos. Usually kasi sa mga coordinator, pag, pag humingi ka sa kanila ng package, all in na yan. Lahat na nandun. And it depends on you kung may gusto kang ipa-customize. Like, like, when you want to, when you want something to be added to the package, syempre, tataas yung package mo. When you want something na i-omit lang sa package, syempre, mas mamura siya. So, I got an 89,000 pesos package from the wedding coordinator. What is included in the 89,000 pesos? First is the host. The host on your wedding day na mag entertain sa mga guests from the ceremony up to the reception time. Included na rin doon, like 50 pieces of wedding invitations, tapos may giveaways na din. Tapos, second user, gown rental sa bride. Tat tatlong bridesmaids. Tatlo. Like, the whole entourage. Tatlong bridesmaids, tatlong groomsmen, um, damit ng parents. Imagine, that's just second user rental. Paano pa pag first user or pinatahi mo talaga yung gown mo at ang whole entourage. So, that's greater than, it, expect that it will be greater than 89,000 pesos. And then, what else? Um, we also have LED lights because I requested to add LED lights kasi 4pm na ang start ng aming wedding. So, expected na matatapos siya late night. So, sabi ko, mas maganda talaga kung may LED lights. Kasi, garden wedding eh. So, wala masyadong ilaw dun sa venue. So, mas maganda talaga kung may LED lights. We also have the full reception set up. Which already includes um, the flowers sa aisle. Alam mo, alam nyo, mahal talaga yung mga bulaklak. Fresh flowers are very expensive. That's why 
akala mo lang simple lang yung decoration pero hindi mas nag yung nagpapamahal talaga yung mga flowers so included in the 89,000 is the full recept uh, full ceremony setup na may aisles may carpet something like that and then also included is a full reception setup so may ceremony setup may reception setup so, for the sa, re sa reception setup, meron ng, ano, for the principals, for, for the principal sponsors, may table sila dun. And usually, royal setup para sa mga principal sponsors. So, on the day of your wedding, you'll get one main wedding coordinator and then five assistants. So, all in all, you have six people to help you with your in your wedding day. The next one on the list is the venue. So, kasi yung sa amin, garden wedding, so naghanap ako ng venue na malayo talaga siya sa city. And then, it's the whole place na na exclusive. Tapos, overnight stay para yung mga guest ko can stay overnight dun sa venue, sa place, para hindi na sila mag-rush umuwi for the next day. Or, para hindi na sila mapagod, para mag-rush pa umuwi, so they can stay if they want. So, we we rented the whole place overnight. That's for 23,000 pesos. Actually, mura na yan eh, compared sa mga hotel. Usually, sa mga hotel, like 10,000 pesos good for 3 hours or 4 hours use only. Hours is 23,000. It's an overnight stay. Tapos, may mga kwarto pa, may swimming pool pa. Next one on the list is the band. So, syempre sa reception, kailangan mo na mag-entertain sa mga guests. So, I requested for a band. Trio sila. Isa na nagba-violin tapos dalawang singer. So, you have to pay them unlimited songs na siya usually. So, my payment, our payment there is 8,000 pesos for the three of them. So, the next one is the photo and video coverage plus the SDE plus the photo booth which is 30,500 pesos kasi yung kinuha namin medyo average siya eh pero may, may ibang supplier pa na nag-offer na mas mababang rate pero pag syempre pag gusto mo naman na medyo high quality naman yung kalalabasan ng mga photo and video nyo and SDE and all syempre Siyempre, gusto mo din piliin yung, yung mas maraming feedback sa Facebook, mas maraming feedback sa Instagram, na magaling talaga sila. So, sila tala, silang kinuha namin kasi you've heard so much good things about them. Sa akin lang ha, pag nagbayad ka ng mura, so expect na low quality naman yung makukuha mo. So, pag nagbayad ka ng average, average makukuha mo. Pero pag nag nagbayad ka ng something that you think is worth it, I am sure worth it din naman yung makukuha mong result. So, ayun. Included na dyan yung SDE, yung same day edit na i-preplay after ng during the reception. Tapos, unlimited shots. So, get full video coverage of your wedding day. And, ano pa, may photo booth pa for the guests. Okay. Next on the list is the food. The most important is the food. Ang sabi nga nila, sa isang wedding, don't let your visitors and guests starve. So, okay lang ikaw na bride na magutom ka kasi wala ka naman talagang ganang kumain pag wedding day mo na. Based on my experience, um, wala, hindi ako nag-lunch, hindi ako nag-breakfast kasi, kasi I don't know Maybe it's mixed emotions kasi excited ka, something like that. Next, na pinakamahal siguro is yung food. So, for us, 140 guests, that is 56,000 pesos lahat. Um, 140 guests times 400 pesos buffet each. The next one is lechon. Hindi mawawala sa isang Filipino wedding ang lechon. And and also, yun yung ano mo eh, para hindi makulang yung food mo na in order for buffet, you need lechon as added na 
ulam para sa mga guests. So, the biggest lechon for now is worth 7,000 pesos. So, we so we got two lechon. So, that's around 14,000 pesos for the lechon. And then, the next one is the hair and makeup ng bride at ng entourage. Usually, kasi dito sa mga wedding, yung bride yung in-charge din eh. Yung couple yung in-charge na magbayad ng ng hair and makeup, gown, ng whole entourage. We spent around 14,000 pesos for the hair and makeup alone. And you also have to pay for the sound system which roughly costs around 4,000 pesos. You know, sound system is one of the most important things talaga kasi pag sira sounds mo, parang nasira na rin ang wedding mo. So, you have to invest in a very good sound system para all the guests in the venue can hear what is going on. So, the next one is the van rental. Since wala kaming car, we have to rent for a van. Papun mula sa bahay, papunta sa venue, tapos um, hatid sundo sa mga guests. Yun na yun. Van rental for 5,000 pesos. Included na dyan yung gas, yung rent sa vehicle, plus yung tip sa driver. The next one is the cake and cupcakes. We had a three layer cake with, and like 10 cupcakes which is around 5,000 800 pesos. Y mura na yan. Murang mura na yan. Kasi yung usual na cake sa mga weddings ngayon, 5 to 7 to 10 layers. Imagine kung maybe yung presyo nila is around 12,000, 10,000 something. So ours is mura. We also paid an additional of 6,950 for the additional gowns of the entourage. Kasi usually, yung included sa package ng isang wedding coordinator, three lang yun. Tatlong, tatlong, tatlong flower girls, tatlong bridesmaid, tatlong groomsmen, tatlong bearers. So, if you exceed that, for example, in my case, I have eight bridesmaids. So, yung included sa package ko is three lang. I have to pay the additional five. So, I have to rent five more gowns pa for them and pati na rin sa mga groomsmen na hindi included sa package tapos nag rent pa kami ng robes yung usual na robes na nakikita nyo na nag, na ginagamit mag photoshoot before mag start ng wedding so everything is around 6,950 and then don't forget the ring the ring nakamura kami sa ring kasi bumili kami ng February so usually it's nice to buy wedding rings on February talaga kasi love month at sa Karat World nag 50% sale sila so nakakuha kami ng 18,000 pesos worth of wedding ring dalawa na yun so at 50% since it is a garden wedding um, we have to pay for the officiating officer that's around 4,500 pesos. So, he is in charge of the ceremony. You also have to include in your list the contingency fund. So, for me, I I added 5,000 for the contingency fund. Diyan na ibabawas yung mga snacks nyo while meeting with your planner. Um, yung mga extra expenses. Small expenses like pamasahe, like that, something like that. Kasi, it's always nice to have extra. That's something you can... Um, yung parang may dudukutin ka kung in case may kailangan kang small amount lang. That's where the contingency fund will go. And then we also... I forgot to mention we also prepared 2,500 pesos for the lunch on the day sa mga staff. So in total, we have... 20, around 25 staff kasi silang mga staff yung mga photo and video photographers, videographers wedding planner assistant wedding planner makeup artist, lahat sila they will be on your wedding day earlier so our wedding starts at 4pm so um, all the staff 
is on the venue na around 10 a.m. So, dapat pakainin mo talaga sila ng lunch. You have to um, a lot budget for the lunch on the day too. The last one on the list is included in our wedding. But this is not required for you. Or, depende lang if gusto mo. Kasi yung husband ko gusto niya talaga ng beer station which costs around 30,000 pesos. We have um, ang dami-dami ng cans, ng beers, we have wines, we have hard drinks also. Which is not included na in the, which Siyempre, it's an additional cost na. If you don't want it, then don't. It's just an option that my husband get. To sum it all up, we spent a total of 332,250 pesos for the wedding. Depende yan talaga kung ilan yung guests mo, kung 200 plus yung guests mo, so expect higher. And then, depende yan sa kukunin mong mga suppliers, personally. At first, gusto ka talaga ng simple lang. Simple lang talaga yung gusto ko. Ayaw kong gumastos ng sobra-sobra para sa wedding. Kaya lang, nung nag-inquire ako, hindi ko din din expect na ganito na talaga yung presyo ng, ng mga wedding packages. So, I have no choice. Advice? Um, if wala pa kayong ipon, wag na muna magpakasan. So, I hope I was able to give you an idea of how much to spend when getting married here in the Philippines. Again, that's just an average expense, okay? So everything is always up to you. If you want to go da, do go lower the budget, go for it. If you want to go higher the budget, go for it. After all, it's your wedding, okay? So see you on my next video. Hope to see you guys soon. So don't forget to subscribe. Bye!